welcome back. Today we are going to go over this holiday palette by Dior. Aren't you excited? We have swatches, we have a look, we are going to go over the palette itself, how it works. It's really pretty guys. And we are going to see if it is worth it. Will it be a good holiday gift? Let's put it to the test. <laughs> All right, let's get into the swatches y'all. Let's get into this beautiful palette. Wow, look at this. I mean, y'all saw it before. I got some on it. <laughs> but how pretty is this? It's so pretty and it opens like so. I mean, it's like a little clutch and it's like a good, solid, I don't know. It's like, I don't think it's real leather, but it's really pretty. And I have, you know, dug into this to try a little bit of it. It has a, a fantastic layout here and it has a very large mirror which I am very happy about and then uh, my SA did say that you can pull this out here and use it as a clutch after how cool is that? Huh. okay so we're gonna play around with this I'm just gonna play and try it out and see how it is I've played with all the eyeshadows so far very pretty. I do like them. And I did put an eye base down. I put the Trish McAvoy eye base. I've been using this. It's very nice, actually. Very nice. It's upside down. There we go. That's what it looks like. And use the Gucci Chatane eyebrow pencil. And of course, my La Prairie. Because that's pretty much all I'm using these days because I don't really want to use anything else. Isn't that crazy? I mean, I should though, right? And I mean, I should only want to use that if I pay that much money. <laughs> Do you agree? I agree. Um, so I agree with myself. <laughs> and here's, let's play around with the eyeshadows first, okay? So I do have, um, I do have bronzer, all my makeup on, I use the Gucci bronzer, but I don't have eyeshadow or anything that I'm gonna apply in here. And let's go in and apply the, let's go in with maybe this shade here, or that one, that one. Let's do this one. And I'm taking a mini booster right here. And let me pull you in just a bit and, and apply this to the lid. Just making sure I don't have any like, crease or anything right there. I'm gonna put this in the crease here. 
and blend. Like, look at that, guys. It's like a satin. This is a satin, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, so pretty. Now that's the third, fourth deepest shadow. The other shadow is that really chocolatey, kind of cooler tan brown. It's really pretty. Really nice. I do like this shade a lot. And I'm just going to blend this down just to kind of blend it out so it's not as kind of... You could get that pretty deep, guys. It's the middle of the day, or it's 11 o'clock in the morning for not middle of the day, it's morning. <laughs> it is morning, so it is not... We're going to like a little outdoor... Uh, like park thing today so we're just going to blend that out a bit do the other eye and you can soften that like look that's just not as much but it's nice right you got some pigment here now the formula I would say is very much like the quince um you know all the quince some of the quince are different they have different kind of you have a matte and you have the satins and things like that. Not all of them are the same. Not all of them have that kind of uh, that copper shade in it and things like that. This, however, that middle shade is definitely more of a topper. See? Definitely more of a topper shade there. So I'm really liking, I love a topper shade. So, and honestly, I'm not getting hardly any fallout at all on any of these, like, lipsticks. I was, I, I worry about that. I like having the option of having it all in one, but then again, I don't want glitter getting all over the lipsticks and that kind of stuff when I'm using the product. I don't think anyone else does either, quite frankly, but it's not really happening, so that's good. Let's do, oh my goodness, I have this old Mac brush, 234. Y'all remember that? Oldie but goodie. Let's see if it does that. Yeah. Um, let's get into the lighter shade here and put that all over the lid just to kind of see. It's kind of like a taupey brown, yet it's a cool brown. And just to blend it in, it's got, it's a satin finish. Very pretty. Easy, easy look here. Look how pretty these are. So easily to, easy to blend. I mean, you, that could be it, guys. Now, I don't, okay, so at first I was a little disappointed with the, honestly, with the shades because I'm like, this is holiday. This should be just like so sparkly and gorgeous and, but with this palette, I don't think that's what they're going for. I think they're going for more of this palette that you can gift to your friend gift to, you know, your mom, sister, whatever, and they can use this for everything. I mean, that I think is the intention, and honestly, I, I understand it. I get it, right? It's kind of pretty and fresh, yet it's kind of a little cooler. It's, it's pretty. It's really pretty. So next up, we're going to go in with... I think this shade here, I'm just going to put this on, I'm going to put that on the upper, kind of highlight the brow bone here. Yeah, it's kind of a cream. Kind of just give it a little bit of a pop up there. It's, I like that it's, I can just put a little bit on and it's not like too much, right? And then we're going to go in, I'm going to take my finger with this middle that middle shade is kind of like a gold, really pretty gold. And I'm just going to put this on the inner kind of corner here. And blend it up a bit. It's a really pretty kind of pop. And I'm just going to clean up a little bit because not that I got like a ton of stuff under the eye or fallout, but a little bit. You just want to clean it up. All right. 
That's a pretty eye look. Now I did not use the deepest shade. I can use the deepest shade. Well, let's just go ahead and use the deepest shade. I will use the deepest shade and just tap my Ruffer 03. Just a tiny, tiny brush, guys. Let's see if you can if it will focus. Yeah, it's a tiny brush and it's like a smudger brush. And I'll just go along the lash outer lash line here and pull it right there. That way, kind of deepens up. You can use it as a liner. Look, gosh, y'all, this is so pretty. Now I used this yesterday, the deeper shade, and kind of went in the crease, and you can amp it up, which I love the versatility of that, right? You can just amp it up and really, just really get it kind of more smoky evening. But this is perfect. And it's, you can blend it out and it's not too, too much. Yeah, and you can go underneath just a little bit if you want. Okay, I pulled you out a little bit. I did get a tiny bit of fallout on the blushes. So I don't know which blush I want to wear. We'll see. This one or this one? So you have a choice. I kind of want to use the lighter one. Um, now the blush swatch weird. I will say they swatch weird, but then I put them on and I'm like, wow, this is really pretty on. So I'm going to take the lighter one. It's a little bit lighter. And I'm just going to use a KZ4 cheek brush. And I'm going to show you here. It applies so beautifully. And I kind of like that you can put it on lightly and then build up. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? And my brush fits great in it. I was worried that the pans would be too small. But that's not the case at all. Isn't that pretty? You just really like that's the shape here. That's that one. And then let's go into this one here. Yeah, I was nervous, like, I would get it in this, in the eyeshadows or whatnot, but I didn't. That's pretty, right? It's just a pretty flush, and I like the color. I think, you know, these, I know, let's see, there was, like, Shane Takai that's come out with a bright pink for fall and uh, Dior as well, but I feel like it's really flattering, especially in the winter because you're having this like, almost like you're out in the cold flush cheek look, you know, and I love that. I think it's very beautiful on the skin and it, it's very kind of natural looking. Like, it's just really nice. All right, I feel like my lips look so very now. I really want to use a lipstick. Now, the only thing about this is that you're either going to have to use your finger or use the little lip products or lip things that came with it, or you can use a lip brush. Now, I do have a lip brush that I, I really like. Um, let's see. i got to find it. <laughs> so we're just going to use this little guy's um, Be a Small Brush. All right, I just have on up. Sorry. Um, let's do something like... I had to fix my lips because <laughs> I had like, to scrub them, you know, and it's said, all right, we're going to that shade. I put it on there and I'm like, why isn't this going on? My, why do I have all this stuff all over my lips? And yeah, I haven't scrubbed my lips in a while. Ooh. You know what? I would have never chosen this shade as a lipstick for me. I really like that it gives me the opportunity to try different colors. So that's that on its own. That's that shade here. It looks really like bright in the pan, but on my lips it looks it looks nice, right? Now I might go in and this is the cool thing about these lips. I mean you can mix and match your lipsticks all day long. And how fun is that? You can be your own, like, artist. And I love that. 
however you want it to be. <laughs> I really like that shade. So I mixed the two lightest ones. So that's what I did is I mixed this one and that one. Y'all seen the na 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 on me and then this one here, I'm just gonna, my hands are clean. That is that shade. That is the kind of more uh, berry red-ish. It's really pretty. Here, I'll go like that. Put it in the center of my lips. <laughs> my memory. More is more. <laughs> All right, now, last but not least, let's play with the highlighter. Oh, I'm so excited. I love highlighter. I really do. I forget to put it on sometimes. And I love how big this highlighter is, you guys. I'm just using the top of the highlighter here. And look how pretty. And I feel like these shades really complement one another. Like, the highlighter's not too warm, right? But it's not too cool, either. It kind of goes with this blush because I feel like the blushes are a little bit on the warmer side and it kind of brings it all together with the lipstick and everything like that. So I feel like the shades really complement each other nicely. I was nervous about that just for the fact that I was like, all right, well that eyeshadow look at that lipstick. But yeah, I mean, you know, you know. So yeah, it was really fun to play. I'm going to put on some mascara and then I will tell you my final thoughts. All right, y'all, so I threw on this Illia mascara. You know what? It's not a bad mascara. It's a nice mascara. Is it as good as my Chanel or my Rare Beauty? No. <laughs> but I have it, so I feel like I should use it, right? So back to this guy here. I really like this. I think it's a great value. I think it's a really beautiful, beautiful package. I love that it's like a little clutch. You could just take this with you if you wanted to. Great travel palette as well. You just throw it in the bag and it's really sturdy too. I feel like the product in here isn't going to move around. I really like the eyeshadow formula, y'all. The eyeshadow formula is really good. I mean really good. It's soft. It's pretty. It's Kind of your, like your everyday look. You could amp it up for evening, definitely so. But guys, this eyeshadow formula is in tune with a lot of the other palettes from Dior in their newer five pan palettes that have been created. I do think they are very good. The blush is beautiful. It does not swatch well. I will. It does not swatch well, but it looks so good on it. Applies so well, and then I really love the lipstick and uh, the highlighter is so pretty and natural and nice, not too blingy, not too soft. It's like a great neutral everyday palette would be a great gift for a friend. Like if you have a friend that loves, that really likes makeup but doesn't like like. It's not like me who like really loves makeup, but they want something fun, like that would be something fun for them. Yes, this is perfect. This is like, so my mom is not like super into makeup like me. Don't ask me where I got it. But this is something she would use every day. And I think that is something that would be a great gift for her for Christmas, for holidays that are coming up, all the things. So yeah, birthdays. Um, it might even be worth like getting something for a birthday down the road, right? So, like I said, I think it's just a really pretty, pretty palette, a great keepsake, and I think the shades are really good. I know that yours had kind of like a bad rap for having like their, and this is what I've heard in the past. I don't know, I have not tried them myself, but their eyeshadows and their formulations aren't as good in these holiday palettes. And Honestly, I don't know, but that's what I've heard in the past, but I like this, and I think they're good, and I think that they apply very beautifully, so if you're looking for something for a friend or whatnot, that might be a good choice, so anyways, I hope that you guys have really enjoyed this video, and I really appreciate you guys being here. Don't forget to subscribe below, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I'd love for you to stay and stick around and I'll leave my latest video right here, and I'll see y'all there. Bye, y'all.